work in the field of embodied AI. So this idea of embodiment, uh, I feel, is very important in our goal to try and create uh, intelligent but also safe machines. Most of us, when we think of robots, we think of the Terminator, we think of droids, we think of these rigid metallic machines. But there's a whole new field in robotics called soft robotics, which as the name implies, is an attempt to try and make machines from soft materials. That because they're made of those kinds of materials already make them safe to be around humans. Following up along behind that new field is biobotics. We try and create robots, not from technological components, but from biological components. These are robots that are made from living, genetically unmodified cells. We asked, could we bring in an AI that would learn how to rearrange living tissues and create new kinds of organisms? that have never been seen before on Earth. So starting about five years ago, we started working on what have now become known as the Xenobots. What we did was we asked the AI to take these frog cells and rearrange them in a way to produce some desired function. We asked a Xenobot to go, see, remember, come back and tell. We placed it in a Petri dish. We placed some very small glass beads in the Petri dish. We had these bots move around. We placed a blue light in the far side of the dish. And any of these Xenobots that came into contact with blue light, that blue light triggered a genetic cascade inside the body of the Xenobot, so that when we ret retrieved the bots from the dish, they would glow red. So we're sort of putting our xenobots through the paces of early robotics, simple things that we might want our robots to do, like go see, remember, come back. In our most recent experiment, we asked the AI to design a xenobot not that would walk or would swim, but would self-replicate. It is a little bit scary to think about self-replicating machines, but as a scientist, I feel that it's our moral responsibility to understand and study self-replication in a safe environment. And the Xenobots, as a genetically unmodified set of frog cells, is a, is a safe place to go. Designing a complex machine is not a trivial matter because you have a lot of interdependent components. So how do you simultaneously improve parts of a complex machine, like a car or a robot, and not break what you already have? Up till now, um, we've been able to create AI that can design robots for us, that can simultaneously improve all the parts of a robot, but it takes the AI weeks and weeks of running on a supercomputer to do that, to produce just one potential machine. So now we have a new AI that is also able to design a robot for us, but it can do it in 30 seconds on a laptop. Now the AI watches an individual simulated bot, and whenever that bot is a little bit inefficient, if it stumbles or it fails to pick up the object we want it to pick up, the AI zooms in on that error and works backwards. It goes backwards into the body and brain of the bot and identifies what were the issues that caused that inefficiency in the behavior to arrive in the first place. By doing that, it's able to not only identify the source of these inefficiencies or errors, it's also able to know exactly how to tweak a neuron here or lengthen a leg there to make that bot a little bit more efficient the next time out. And by doing that, there, it removes trial and error. The AI very quickly is able to optimize a blob of virtual soft material into a useful and safe soft robot. If we start to put AI into physical bodies, into autonomous cars, into drones, into humanoid robots that are interacting directly with people here in the real world, of course, that's a dangerous prospect. But that's not how we do things with our children. We give them safe environments, uh, both for themselves and for us, and we allow them to gradually learn how to operate these fantastically complicated, but also uh, full of opportunity machines. So as we start to embody AI in the real world, what we need to figure out is how to create safe places for them. 